When working with Flutter, this is a widget that you are going to use a lot. This is the list view. Inshallah, today I want to talk about a specific scenario uh, that is uh, when you have a list view and you want to put another item uh, in the upper part, for example, a text as a title. For example, here I want to put a title and uh, the list and I want that everything is scrollable. So not only the list and I want everything scrollable. So the issue here is that when you want to work with this scenario and you, for example, are using a list view builder, it creates some problems when you want to insert the text and this is inshallah what we are going to see. But before all, let me explain the code that I have right now. So don't worry because even if you see a lot of code, uh, it is really easy, uh, so you shouldn't worry. So here, uh, the classic run up with my stateless widget that I call uh, the class my app. So I use the material app, the scaffold, then safe area, and then I have my page. My page is a simple stateless widget and inside I define a final list of boxes that contains a list of simple box and simple box is another class and it basically this box here that you see colored. The simple box extends another stateless widgets in which I pass the text and the color and what I do is I show a container with a little bit of padding, a margin and the past color and I show the past text and it is what you, you are seeing right here. Here I simply call this class and I pass the text as the first parameter and the color as the second parameter as you can see. Here inside the my page that is called here, the main page I would say, uh, inside the build, I basically show a list view with the builder, so a list view builder. And uh, in the item uh, builder, I print the boxes that are that are here with the index of the current item, because uh, with the the list view builder is different from the normal list view because uh, the items are rendered only the items that are visible so if you have 2000 items it will are not going to render all the items but only the visible ones and it is really good for performance reason in my opinion you should always try to use builder when you need it obviously if you have only a little bit of items you should uh, use the normal uh, list view yeah, here with the item count, I put the length of the boxes so he knows how many items I have. At the end here with physics, I use this string here that basically uh, it is the fact that you have uh, while you're using the iPhone, this bouncing effect. If I comment it, I will have something like this. As you can see, by doing like this, even if I'm using an Android phone, I get the iOS effect. So as you can see, now it is really easy. Now the point is that I want to put some title in the upper part and I, what I can do or what I should do and it is suggested is that I take a list view and children, okay, and then I pass my my list view and then here I basically type the text that I want. My title. I save. I'm sorry, okay. Format and I save. And as you can see now we have a big issue. And if we go here and we see the issue, you see um, that you have a problem with the height because it is infinity and basically uh, with list view you, it is going to get as many height as it needs and since you the parent it is also not defining a height so uh, this creates a problem so you can wrap this one with uh, 
constraint box constraint box and here put your child this is one here okay and here you put box constraints and put max height 300 for example you can save uh should format okay so as you can see now it is obviously working with the height but the the problem is that uh, you don't know the height of your, your the height of your uh, of your device so it could be anything and you also um, in this way you are constraining only this box and as you, as you can see the title it is not scrollable and another issue is that you can even use meta query of context and get the height but then you are not calculating the safe area and this is another problem so you have a lot of other issues so it is not the best way i would say or you have to really do a lot of things to get it work the solution it it is really simple you you can for example use shrink wrap true because in this way uh, you're shrinking the height to take only the um, the space that it needs and uh, we are good to go and then here in uh, on the physics uh, we cannot use uh, uh, the bouncing physics here because we should use it in this list view and as you can see if i do like this it is not going to scroll down so i get this physics here i cut it for now uh, with i cut it for now and here if i save you can see that it is not scrolling so we can use physics and scroll physics now we can save and we are able to scroll only we have this android effect uh, to change it i go here and i pass the uh, bouncing scroll physics and as you can see now it is working really well now there is another uh, really beautiful solution that doesn't use this i would say hack so i found this solution on stack overflow and i think that it is a great solution uh, it is better than the hack of the of the list view inside another list view it is really nice but the only thing is that you have a little bit of boilerplate since you have to uh, differentiate between the the slivers and then the, the non slivers because for example here uh, you have to adapt the boxes that are not slivers by using this liver to box adapter but i don't think that it is a really big issue and also in this uh, response it says that Emily Fortuna, uh, one of the main developers of Flutter, uh, have wrote a really extensive and great article and indeed it did, so you can read it if you are interested. Now let's change it into custom scroll view, custom scroll view. So as you can see now it works properly uh, and here if we change the physics we save as you can see we have the same scroll effect and uh, i would say that is a little bit better with the custom scroll view you have the same effect it is a little bit cleaner and you don't have this act and also if you want to know more about the slivers and the custom scroll view you can read the article and basically are a way to write better scrollable widgets and uh, they offer m a lot more other things and you can even use different type of uh, scrollable areas for example i can use a list and then uh, a wrap with boxes and a lot of other uh, useful stuff